Hi everyone, Evan Alexander here. I have a quick update to an older tutorial about hybrid symbols. In 2024, things have changed a little bit and screen plane is no longer a thing. It has become a legacy item. And so the way we work with hybrids has changed just a little bit, nothing drastic. So let's jump in. I have just some simple geometry here. I have two extrudes, a square, a rectangle, and a circle. And so to make a hybrid symbol from scratch, the process really is exactly the same. So I'm just gonna draw my 2D geometry right here on top. Let's give it a little flare here. And now I'm gonna grab all four objects. I have all four objects and same thing. We're gonna say modify create symbol and we'll give it a name. So I'll call this EA1 and just like that, just as we expect, we have a hybrid symbol. You can see here, it's a 2D, 3D. So when we're in top plan view, we can see this nice 2D geometry. And then the minute we shift to any other view, we see only the 3D. So that works as expected here. I'm just gonna undo my steps and take us back to where we were here. So here's what's different. Uh, if I already have this as a symbol, so I'm gonna grab just the 3D and we'll say modify create symbol. We'll call this EA2. And so now this is just a 3D symbol. And so that also works as it always has. But if we wanna make this as a hybrid, right? So it used to be that you would go into the 3D right? I'm in the 3D. And I would draw my geometry, my 2D geometry here. Uh, again, we'll just give it a little bit of tone. And so this stuff, the 2D geometry, we used to have to say screen plane. But of course, we don't have screen plane now. All we have here is symbol definition. So if I exit the symbol, now it looks like it worked here, right? Cause we're in top plan view and we're seeing this, but what's actually happening is that we're just seeing the 2D hanging out inside of the 3D. In fact, if we come back here and we select this, you can see this is still just a 3D symbol. It's not actually a hybrid. And so in this really simple case, it kind of works, but obviously with more complicated models, it isn't gonna work. And you're really not then making a true hybrid. So let's undo all of this one more time. And so if we're back here to our just regular old 3D symbol, here's the new workflow. I'm gonna double click on this, but instead of going into the 3D component, I am gonna choose the 2D component. This is how we used to edit hybrids, right? And it still is how you edit it, but we have to edit the 2D even though there isn't any. And so I'm gonna say edit. Now it's gonna ghost our 3D for us, which is great so we can see it. And now I will draw out our 2D geometry here. And it's still, uh, well, you can see it doesn't even have a plane anymore. Uh, but that's okay because we're editing the 2D. And so now when I exit the symbol, now we get our familiar panic dialog box here saying, oh my goodness, you're changing this. Are oh, you really want to do that? I absolutely do want to do that. And now we're back to a good old fashioned hybrid. So it's a 2D, 3D symbol. We're in top plan view. All we see is the 2D. And then the minute we go to any other 3D view, all we see is the 3D. So that's it. It's pretty much the same. You just have to be aware of that kind of slight change. All right. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon.